Instead of moral preaching, change the program. Xiefeng. Program development always surpasses moral preaching. In the 18th century, England transported convicts to Australia to alleviate domestic prisoner overcrowding and develop the country. The British government hired private ships to transport the convicts. Prior to departure, the ship owners were paid by the government based on the number of convicts on board. In order to maximize their profits, the captains crammed as many convicts as possible onto the ships, resulting in overcrowded cabins with poor air quality. Since the ship owners had already received their payment, they disregarded the life and death of the convicts. As a result, the death rate on these ships reached as high as 12%. One ship, for example, carried 424 convicts, of whom 158 died during the voyage. To reduce the mortality rate, the British government dispatched government officials on each ship to supervise the transportation process. They also set mandatory standards for the convicts' living conditions and provided doctors to accompany them. What happened next? In pursuit of their own interests, the ship owners bribed the supervising officials and doctors. Those who refused to accept bribes were either thrown into the sea or killed by other means. Consequently, the death rate among the convicts remained high. Eventually, the government changed the payment procedure. Instead of paying based on the number of convicts boarded, they started paying based on the number of convicts safely delivered to Australia. As a result, the ship owners made every effort to protect the lives of the convicts, improve their diet and living conditions, and actively seek medical treatment for them. Consequently, the convict mortality rate dropped from 12% to 1%. This is the effect of changing the program. If a certain state is persistently bad, then one should not rely on moral preaching to solve the problem. Instead, consider changing the program. Once the program changes, the state of chaos immediately disappears. For example, in the matter of elderly care, there are moral expectations for children to dutifully care for their parents, with sayings such as, filial piety is the foremost of all virtues. However, what has been the situation for thousands of years? Despite loving parents having been around since ancient times, who have seen filial children? Since this is the case, why not change the program for elderly care? Options such as using real estate for retirement, group retirement, hotel retirement, nursing home retirement, retirement pension, and so on still fail to alleviate the suffering of elderly people, especially those without financial means. In fact, Elderly care is easily to be solved. Regardless of whether the elderly have money or children, they can all live their later years happily in the second home life mode program created by Life Echanuan. Another example is the issue of marital relationships. Few people have been able to handle marital relationships well over thousands of years, and the problems and pains that arise from managing these relationships are too numerous to list. So why get married and start a family? Does not getting married and starting a family mean one cannot live a good life? The second home mode of life Echanuan effortlessly resolves this problem. In this mode, there are no marital relationships, and without marital relationships, the troubles and confusions caused by relationship management disappear. By changing the program, the worries and pains are eliminated. Similarly, in the realm of raising children, reality reminds us that due to the flawed perspectives on life held by the majority of parents themselves, the values, life, and worldviews they pass on to their children remain incomplete. This brings endless confusion and setbacks on the journey of life for the next generation. Therefore, raising children in an environment where they are nurtured and educated by perfect teachers in their spiritual realm frees parents from the labor of raising children and allows children to establish correct values from a young age. Life Echanuan has successfully proven this through 10 years of practice. Regarding the issue of funerals, People now say they can't afford to die. Why can't they afford it? Because burial plots are expensive and funeral costs are too high. The easy solution to this problem is the Life Echanuan funeral system created by the Life Echanuan community. This funeral system not only makes death affordable, but also allows people to depart gracefully and elegantly. As for wars between nations, for thousands of years, wars between countries have brought great harm to the people. Does humanity really lack the knowledge and wisdom to solve this problem? Not at all. Global unification and the disappearance of nations, allowing people to freely move around the world, create a sense of interconnectedness. Who would fight whom? 
With the massive military expenses gone, no more soldiers, and destruction eliminated, wouldn't that be wonderful? This is merely a matter of changing the program. What problem in human existence cannot be solved? Floods, droughts, epidemics, social unrest, corruption, wealth disparity, and other issues. Can they be solved through moral preaching? They cannot. But by changing the production and life mode programs that humanity has followed for thousands of years, everything can be easily resolved, bringing about favorable weather, social stability, and everyone's happiness, joy, freedom, and well-being. By observing the outstanding figures throughout human history and the wise and capable individuals of today, it is evident that only Deform Buddha of Life Achanuan can truly lead humanity into the desired era of peace and happiness. Even if the Ziwei saint were to descend, he would still be unable to surpass Deform Buddha.